Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X, looking at Chinese Romland in the past week. And during this video, you probably are gonna see insanity weather behind me. <coughs> Let's get into talking about Chinese dramas, and we've got a lot of things happening during this week. Chronologically, supposedly on 21st, a drama should go live on Tencent, which is the second drama of the series of drama called Gu Yu, Talking Bones. Too. Don't know if many people have watched that drama. The first one happened a year or two ago. I think I've watched a couple of episodes of that drama at the beginning of it and then didn't feel very attracted to it. So I left it there. But second series is coming. So if anyone is interested in that crime drama that's focused on police investigating a little bit CSI type of drama, still led by the actress Zhang Lingxing, who you probably are most familiar with as Xia Dong in the drama Nirvana in Fire. Then another drama on the same day, also on Tencent plus Beijing television, satellite television, should also go live called Woman de Huiyin, Modern Marriage. This drama is led by Bai Bai He and Tong Da Wei, also featuring very lovely actresses such as Jiang Xing and Gao Ye, people in their 30s type of marriage focused drama. And today we're gonna talk a lot about marriage. <laughs> Wait till the later of this video. Then, two days after that, on the 23rd, a drama is scheduled to go live, and I'm already excited about that, called Xiang Feng Shi Jie. English title Challenges at Midlife. Oh, okay, that's definitely more drama, drama than the marriage drama. Wait till you hear why I would say that. This drama is gonna be led by. Lei Jiaying, Yuan Quan, Zhang Yixin, Jia Nailiang. Then you look at the production company of this drama, which is Shan Ying, Shandong Ying Shi, which is the mother sort of company of Zhongwu Yangguang Daylight Entertainment. And then you look at this drama's writer, Anai, who is the person who wrote All Is Well, uh, like a flowing river, uh, Ode to Joy, like all those Daylight Entertainment dramas written by her. So with that, it's definitely gonna be a super gaoxie with a lot of super super tropey elements but the exciting <laughs> kind of contemporary drama with very very solid actors <laughs> cannot wait during last week we've had the 15th day of the first month of chinese new year so that would be yuan xiao jie traditionally a huge huge festival and then one day before that was valentine's day so as you can imagine valentine plus yuan xiao <laughs> pretty much every drama that's out there has thrown out some new materials posters trailers so i'm gonna just very quickly flash some of the posters of the dramas just to let you know that they are very conscious of being present That out of the way, let's keep talking about dramas at different stages of production. First, a drama wrapped literally at the very end of last week, which is the fantasy period drama Xue Ying Ling Zhu, Snow Eagle Lord, led by Xu Kai and Na Jia. So, into post production. Let's see if we can get to watch this drama within this year. Then, there is a project that's being announced that probably will make quite a few of my audiences happy, which is a contemporary drama that's online on iQiyi, and I know a lot of people love it a lot. Yi Shan, Yi Shan, Liang Xing Xing, Shining for One Thing, that's led by Zhang Jianning and Qu Shuxiao. I've watched parts of it. It's not my cup of tea, but I know it's a cup of tea for a lot of people, both on China's internet and also on my Discord server. I can see that. And I'm very happy for all the people who love this drama and love the characters. A film version of this drama has just got the green light. If you're not happy about the ending of the drama where it kind of ends on a very ambiguous note and you don't quite see what happens, I think the film version is gonna give you the answer because <laughs> the poster kind of showed you, you know, clearly. It's from the guy's angle looking at the girl. So, lovers of this drama, you have something to look forward to. Then quite a few dramas started shooting during this week. We have Qian Ye, The Eve. Not like even Adam, Eve, the night, evening, Eve. It's a Mingguo espionage drama. When you hear Mingguo, usually it's espionage drama. It's gonna be led by Oh Hao, Zhang Huiwen. In its copywriting, when they announced this drama about Qin Chun Diejan, youth and espionage. 
you know, like espionage is really serious. It's a little bit worrisome. Let's hope it doesn't have absolutely uh, stupid plot writing. But then it wouldn't be the first time it happens in Chinese drama land if it ended up like that. Also, a pair of drama has started shooting and I'm super excited for it. <laughs> it's called Yin Niang, English title, The Assassin. Nie Yin Niang, anybody watched that film before? It's about that assassin, female assassin character existed in Tang Dynasty. And this seems to be related to that. It's set in Tang Dynasty after An Shi Zhiluan, the very important historical, huge rebellious act that kind of cut Tang Dynasty into in its history. Anyway, it's set after that and it's focused on a group of assassins. <laughs> I love that because period drama, okay, Tang Dynasty and assassins, that means a lot of fighting scene and the casting is going to be Zheng Yecheng, Qin Lan, Hu Liancin. Zheng Yecheng. You guys know, you know, I like his fighting scenes. He's one of the best. Qin Lan. I think Qin Lan and Zheng Yecheng belong to two different generations of actors, but it would be really cool to see them working together. Hu Liancin is the young actress. If you are watching Yuan Shijian, A Lifelong Journey, that drama now, she plays the daughter of Song Jia. I will keep an eye on this production's progress for sure. Then, in contrast to my excitement of assassins starting to shoot, uh, to my despair <laughs> and I already okay decided when this drama comes out if in any way it annoys me I'm gonna rent the hell out of it which is they've started shooting Xianjian Si Chinese Paladin 4 if you are familiar with this whole IP it's based on a game so this is not the fourth drama it is based on the fourth game and the leading cast is gonna be Chen Zheyuan, Ju Jingyi, Mao Xiaohui and who plays Mu Rongziying, Mao Zedong? It doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. I, I don't care about the later ones. I, I just look at the fact that the female lead role from the game, Han Lingsha, is gonna be played by Ju Jingyi. <laughs> the reason being, this game is very special to me personally. Yeah, you know when your baby gets touched. Dao Biji fans out there, you know what it feels like. That game is one of the best games of the Xianjian series, in my opinion, and widely agreed by most of the Xianjian players. And it happens to be the only Xianjian game that I have actually played through till the end by creating super weapons. So I had to try hundreds of times to make super weapons successful and then uh, save the the, the particular game and then go back and be able to fight the final boss. I remember so clearly when I finally got through it, I was so happy. It's the only Xianjian game I managed to do. So I have very strong emotional attachment to this game. And I've heard about the rumor about she is going to play the female lead role <laughs> since last year. And I was like really pissed when I first heard that. Now it's, it's already starting. You can't stop it. Baby is already on the way to be born. <sighs> Know what my opinion about her acting is. Oh, crap. Chen Zhiyuan, I think I can deal with him being uh, Yun Tianhe, the male lead character of that game. I think it's okay. The other two, I, I'm also okay with that. I don't think it's gonna be great acting out of it, but it wouldn't offend me too much. But Ju Jingyi playing Han Lingsha, oh my god. Oh, shit. Any Xianjian 4 player out there, right? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you love all those four characters because they're very well-written game characters. And I think any sane people wouldn't be happy if you love the game to be happy about the casting choice. All I can say is when the drama comes out, if it's crap, I'm gonna 8k47 it. Then another drama also started shooting, very fresh news, literally happened yesterday. The drama is called Ru Guo Hai You Shi Jian. When you hear the title, you know it's not a good story, like happy ending, because <laughs> English title is If There's Still Time Left which is a pretty accurate translation. Contemporary drama led by Lin Yi and Li Lan Di. Pretty familiar, I think, to my audiences. Young people's romantic contemporary story, but the male lead character is going to have ALS. My hope for it is, please, if you're gonna show this really, really terrible disease as one of the major thing of this drama, do it justice, okay? It's always tricky when you have to have a character who has a very serious terminal disease of some sort or like disability of some sort. How do you 
play the balance game of making it emotionally impactful, but then not kind of like sell and milk on it. Hope this scriptwriter is a is is a is an intelligent and reasonable person enough. And then to wrap up today's video, like I said earlier, it's gonna be about marriage because this week we've got two pieces of news of a divorce and a marriage happening <laughs> in entertainment business. And during the week of Valentine's Day, hey, couldn't be more perfect and ironic. So first bad news or good news actually, it's a divorce. Wu Qian and Zhang Yujian they're divorced, officially. Yeah. Good for her! <laughs> the entirety of Chinese entertainment, plus anybody who cares about entertainment business, has been waiting for this moment. I won't go into the details of the gossip. If you're curious, you can search online and there's plenty of material out there about why, okay, why internet is like so happy for Wu Tian for her finally to uh, divorce Zhang Yujian, okay? Good for her, very good for her. I hope her career goes up, up, up from here. She has a lot of potential actually, but she's been definitely, definitely pulled back in her career advancement in the last couple of years due to uh, being married to him and giving birth to a child and uh. anyway, happy for the beautiful lady to be finally free. And then there's some marriage news, literally just happened yesterday as well, which is the, uh, <laughs> people have known that they're a couple for a long time. The Hunan television hosts, Shen Mengchen and Du Haitao, they're married. Okay, hope they have a successful and long lasting and happy marriage. Like hope it's long lasting if it's happy, you know, if it's not happy then, <laughs> these days, right? That would be the end of this video. There's another gossip news about a very promising young actress now, uh, kind of being caught by paparazzi is, is, is in a relationship with a guy that everybody is like, what the heck, why did you pick him? It's not 100% confirmed and two concerned people haven't really come out and admit it. I'm just gonna, yeah, if you've heard about it, you've heard about it. <laughs> If you haven't, don't worry about it, okay? It's just somebody and somebody are dating. The girl is very adored by the general audience in China, kind of considered as the national little sister. <laughs> and then the guy, who, who <laughs> idol who's got a lot of bad news attached to him. So mm -hmm. why do you go and dig out a boyfriend out of a garbage can? That's basically it. Yeah. it. But hey, this is entertainment business, nothing new at all. That should conclude our new exit video of this week quite eventful. Thank you for watching. Please take care. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.